Hello and welcome everyone to part 11, uh, chapter 12 of the Fire Emblem Engage Maddening Female Only Run. Sadly the parts and chapters don't match up, but we, we can see what we can do about that moving forward. Maybe there's a parallel or something I can show, but um, yeah, we previously live streamed part 10 and 11, which was a pretty significant set of events for the show, for the game and uh thank you to everyone who came out to that but uh onwards to Solm, the fourth and final part of the region and uh there's a bit of story here so i'll go on mute and yeah sit back and enjoy This is Psalm. It's very... sandy. The Queendom's land is covered in deserts. I believe this one is called Tula. And, as you've no doubt noticed, it's much hotter than in Lugia. I fear I may melt. What now, Divine One? You better head straight to the palace. I just hope the Hounds haven't gotten there first. During my time in Lucia, the Four Hounds did pay a few visits to Solm, but they came back empty-handed each time, so I expect the palace is unharmed. Thanks, Ivy. Pretty handy having an enemy as a friend. I will choose to take that as a compliment. Which emblem ring was entrusted to Solm? The Radiant Hero, said to be among the most powerful. Needless to say, it would be quite a boon. Sounds like exactly what we need right now. Let's get going. Uh, let's see. Which way to the palace again? Divine One, I believe we passed that enormous rock earlier. What? Really? <sighs> All this terrain looks the same to me. I wish I could help. My knowledge of Solmic geography comes only from maps. Wait a moment. Prince Alfred, Prince Diamant, your nations are allied with Solm. Haven't you gone to the palace before? I did, but quite a long time ago. I don't remember the way. I traveled from Firene. I've got no clue how to get there from Elusia. So none of us knows where to go. <sighs> All right, I'll say it. We're lost. <sighs> I'm afraid so. We can't afford to waste time. I wonder if there's a landmark to go by. <sighs> hey! You don't look like you're from around here. What's with the outfits? Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you, but I took one look and thought to myself, self, they are lost. And, uh, who are you? Who am I? I'm the guy, here to keep the peace in Tula Desert. Call me Fogato, yeah? As captain of the Sentinels, it's my duty to help people in need. If you find folks need a hand, just let me know. Thanks for that. As for myself, I'm the Divine Dragon, from Lethos. Wait, yo! Uh, you're telling me the Divine Dragon is here, in my desert! No kid? Yes. Oh, I had no idea! I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to be rude! You weren't! There's no need to be formal with me. Didn't expect you to be casual. That's cool. Uh, but hey, what brings you all out to my piece of the world? We're on our way to Solm Palace. But we don't know how to get there. Well, this is your lucky day. Come on, just follow me. If I know how to get anywhere, it's the palace. You don't mind? Of course I don't. You know what's out there? Sand. As far as the eye can see. And crap, you have to deal with that. Lucky me mad, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Fogato. We appreciate your help. <laughs> Don't sweat it. Oh, you know what? I do have a quick errand to take care of first. An errand? What kind of errand? 
more of a mission. See, not too long ago, these freaky creatures started appearing everywhere. As captain of the Sentinels, when I get a report about a problem in the desert, I take care of it. Sorry about this. You have a sit, and I'll take you to the palace right after I'm done. Actually, why don't we come with you? We can help. Well, that'd be great. My friends went ahead of me. Let's go meet up with them. The problem's even worse than I expected. Hey, there they are! Pentrea! Rene! Fogato, you're late. I was starting to think you wanted us to die out here. With any further delay, these creatures would have made a meal of us. Sorry about that, fellas. But hey, I brought help. Help? What do you mean, help? Oh, Pandreo, my pious friend. This is really gonna blow your mind. Hello? I'm the Divine Dragon. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's the Divine Dragon! The Divine Dragon?! Hang on! What were you thinking, bringing the Divine Dragon here?! That hair! Like two scoops of sorbet swirling together in the desert heat. Hey, save it for the kitchen! That's a deity you're talking about! I knew this would get you too fired up. Divine One, these are my sentinel words. What do you say? Ready to handle a mission with us? Ready. All right, so three you three new units uh sadly all male so cannot use them uh pandrea is considered one of the best units in the game so that's a sad one to miss out on because i've played this game two or three times now and i've never actually used him but you know i would have liked to have but unfortunately not a female uh we also only get to pick a handful of units here which is not ideal yeah, we have to bench a few. Um, honestly, I'm probably going to go with these uh, seven. Just looking at it. I know there's a lot of sand, so we want the three flyers. Um, you're good for... Uh, maybe I can bench you and bring in Saline. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, I tend to be pretty aggressive with this map because I do want to save the uh, villagers over here. So, with that in mind... Actually, I think this setup's pretty good. Let's go with that. Give it a quick save. And off we go. Help! Help! Alright, let's do this thing, Sentinels. And your uh, guests. Finally! Time to get this party started! Oh, 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 oh. I will serve up a most deadly dish. Before I forget, watch out for those patches of quicksand. That stuff will really slow you down. Okay. Um... Wouldn't I... The Divine One, it's such an... I can use my staff to warp you... 
I'm gonna hand your stuff off to here. Maybe instead of that one. I don't really want to use the warp star yet. I feel like I, I want to save them. Let's see what we can do first. It's a good crit chance. Canter through the quicksand. All right. I relish a taste. Whatever you ask. <laughs> Don't waste my time. Ready and able. Enough. Oh, that's a nice crit. Let's go. Show me the way. I believe the uh, mystic aren't as impacted by the quicksand, so that's kind of why I wanted to drop Fram and bring in. Um, and bring in um, Saline there. I'm sorry. You've got 11 swords, so you're not going to be able to do a ton in there. It's this Wolf Knight that's kind of concerning. Sadly can't reach with her. Building up the speed takers is never a bad idea either. Whatever, they can't move. Big three damage.
tempted. I mean, it's probably the right move, really. Yeah, it is. Let's go for the crit. Fingers crossed. No crit. But we get the kill with Oh. Did I do that wrong? still the right play. Actually, I really should be pressing thunder. Here we go. I think that back up may have made it okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, nope. So I'm going to have to redo that again unless I get another back up. Okay, I'm going to have to turn back and do that again. What's your range? I guess the other option is I just don't attack it yet. Do it next time. Another speed taker. Okay, I didn't see that she was in range. Okay, let's do that turn again. And be a little more aggressive. So just do that.
See, the thing is, I, I feel like they're gonna go for the... I feel like they're going to go for the double. So I am actually gonna stay there. Jeez, I got that wrong too. They kind of just doubled Lapis there. I really thought they'd go for the clones. I want this one to go down. Don't know if I can make it happen though. Okay, I can. I can make that one go down. Perfect. Thank 
you for the dance. Nice. May I? Yeah. Yeah. A good wind. Now suddenly Ivy's doubling paper, which is amazing. We don't kill that. <laughs> Let's get these guys out of range if we can. Understood. We can do this astral storm. This one. As if I Disappointing speed. I mean, we do still get the kill. Chloe and Sailing, we do get this kill. And because it's a great axe, um, they won't be able to actually move before we do. So 
so that's perfectly fine. Overkill, but we like that. <laughs> Honestly, I probably want you to just get this. Okay, bond fragments all around. See, this chapter is pretty quick and easy, I think. Dream well. Only three or four enemies left, and they can't do a whole lot to me, I don't think. Okay, so there are a few more reinforcements. I I guess typically maybe I've already beaten the map by now. Because yeah, I don't remember those reinforcements coming. Grant me strength. Still add an extra turn if we move back one.
Okay, so it's these we need to deal with. Question is, how do we do what that? What a lovely scene! Get a crit. <laughs> Bonded shield. Maybe that's the play actually. Do you have pass? I'm worried they're going to attack these two. I've got to go for this crit. But on the second one. Okay. Let's attack here first. That's a pretty safe one. Let's begin. That's a pretty safe one. He seems to get crit. <laughs> Is that not always the way? I need this to hit. Odds were in my favor. Uh, and then we come here. Lend me your strength. And bonded shield. to use you to go heal. Just to heal. Okay. 
Need to head down here. Do I wait for more? <clears throat> oh, we'll see about this mage actually, so the map won't end. Lapis not getting spades actually crazy. I oh, should get experience for that. to be sailing for level purposes. The smart thing to do would be to put you there and just end it. But I want Saline to get this kill. If she levels up, I will give her a Master Seal next, uh, next map. Get the game of 30, then I can go in the. Um, into the training ground and get 30 experience. It's 
not a great level up. Emblem engage. You know what it is. Doubles. Doubles are gonna get better at dodging. Allow me. You were beautiful while you lasted. Ah, thirty-six. Okay. Uh, there'll be a little more story, and then um, that'll be the end of this chapter. So enjoy the story. going. He really showed him what the Divine Dragon can do. Now, it's his soul palace. Stay close. I hate for you to split off and get lost. Again. Thanks, Fogato. This ought to be interesting. It's been years since I visited the palace. Years? I thought Solm and Firine had a good relationship. Our countries are allies, sure, but that doesn't mean our families are close-knit. In fact, out of Solm's whole royal family, my mother and I have only met Queen Sephoria. What? No one else? Nope. Not the royal consort, not the crown princess, and not her brother the prince. That's strange. I never met them either. Same thing happened to you, huh? I may have forgotten the way to the palace, but I remember well what happened there. It was a strange scene. The queen received us alone, with no one attending her. When we asked to meet the princess and prince, she told us they weren't there. She told us the exact same thing! I asked when they'd be back, and she said, no idea. It didn't make sense. If you're royalty, you can't leave your castle whenever you like. I got the feeling she was hiding them from us. But why? Were they sick or shy? Shy? <laughs> that would surprise me. Everyone we've met here has been so friendly. The queen is too. There are just some things about the royal family that don't add up. Let's be on guard, all right? Got it. We're here! Soam Palace. Now all that's left is asking those guards to open the gate. Thanks for leading the way, Fogato. I don't know how we'd have gotten here without you. Of course. Just another day in the life of a sentinel. I'll be sure to commend you to the Queen. Anyway... Now, we'd better be on our way. Huh? Uh, Fogato? What are you doing? Talking to the guards! What else? Does he have a meeting with the Queen as well? Beats me. Maybe he's here on some kind of Sentinel business. Fogato! Wait for us! Prince Fogato. I'll open the gate. Yes, let the gate be open! Prince. Did that guard say Prince? Uh, unless we misheard him. In exactly the same way. Thanks for waiting, folks. Fogato, we're a little confused. Are you the Prince of Solm? Did I not mention that? 
Uh, no, you didn't. Whoops, <laughs> egg meat face. Right, let me do this properly. I'm Fogata, captain of the Sentinels and the Prince of Soul. Welcome to my family's palace. Come on in, you wanted to meet mom, right? Mom, visitors! What is happening? I didn't realize there was royalty. Prince personally going on patrols. Not something you see every day. I wonder why we never met him before. He doesn't seem sick. He's certainly not shy. It's a mystery. Anyway, let's head in. Don't want to keep Prince Fogato waiting. <laughs> Stolen, miserable, torn apart from your friends. How delicious. Lady Vale. Zephia, tell me, what are the Divine Dragon's forces up to? They passed through the Shadowy Moor. It appears they've arrived in Solm. So they did not return to Brodia. They're gathering more rings. Good. Can we go after them, Lady Vale? I'm itching for a rematch. Patience, Marnie. If we wait, we can steal Solm's ring from them along with the others. Oh, smart! I'll be a good girl and wait then. You are a treasure, Marnie. Isn't she just the pride of the Four Hounds? <laughs> you two really heap on the praise. That's why I love ya. <laughs> You're such a child. Praise is for chumps. It's much more fun to be punished. Worry not, Chris. You will soon have all the agony your heart can want. That's what I like to hear. Parts of the gig right there. And you, Mavir? How would you like to be rewarded? Nothing for me, my lady. You won't even say my name. How cold. Uh... That's all right. For now, we wait. We watch. And then, when the time comes... <sighs> Lady Vale? I've been awake for too long. I'm asleep. Here are your instructions. Zephia, take charge. As you wish. Alright, something going on with Vale there, but um, yeah, like I said, without uh, without much of a much of an issue there, that map, um, but we move on to chapter 13 um, in the next episode, so stay tuned for that, and as always, thanks for tuning in, and peace.